Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Mordekaiser top lane here in season 12. He's an okay top laner, but he really struggles against mobile or ranged top laners because he is uh, very skill shot reliant on his Q and his E. I know his teammates are near, so I'm not gonna chase this in. It wouldn't be worth it. His teammates are wandering around in the area, so instead we'll get him low. Now he's gonna be late the lane. That should set us up for an easy level too. But yeah, anyways, mobile top laners like a Bane or a Kindred, uh, even things like Avrelia can be challenging or Fiora. Anything that can consistently dodge your Q or your E is going to be obnoxious. So we're up against a Cho'Gath. Not too bad for us. Should be able to chunk him down pretty quick. Our passive gives us max health damage, which helps out a lot. And your Q does essentially double damage if you only hit one enemy target with it. Similar to a Karthus Q. What we're going to do is get our three autos down. Preferably on the minion that's tanking the most damage. Looks like I only have one range creep aggroing this one and then two are aggroing a different one. Goal is to hit level two first while pushing the wave as little as possible. Auto attack Q, auto attack and we're gonna walk with them. If the enemy champion doesn't have conquer or lethal tempo, by default, they're not gonna be able to beat you in a raw fight to the death like this. So that was his mistake. I was fighting on top of his minion, so I was taking extra damage. But still, he had Grasp and anything except for Conqueror or Lethal Tempo. When you have Conqueror or Lethal Tempo, they will lose the fight to the death. So that was his bad on that one. Generally, you're going to auto attack into Q reset. You don't usually lead in with Q because they'll be trying to dodge it and you have to stand still to cast the Q. So if they dodge it and you had to stand still, then the fight's completely over. And at that point, you're just raw poking them. I'm actually going to sell my uh, potion, grab a refill, and a uh, control ward. I'd rather have refill than a single pot. There's nothing else we could really get anyways because we had such a small amount of gold. So, like, it is what it is. We actually have Karthus mid, which is interesting. I haven't seen that in forever. He's up against, I think, a challenging matchup. He does outrange her substantially, but he never has the option to truly all in her since she is mobile with her dash mechanic. As long as he's under turret, he should be safe. It's a Jarvan jungle. I can kind of two verse one them, as long as I take health off the Cho to Cho'Gath first. You can take TP on more top. You lose out on a lot of kill potential. So if you feel like you can't kill your target anyways, probably just go for the TP. Got him with it. Return on our W. All right, that's fine. We're going to pop a potion. We already see they're in the area. They're all over there, so they might come for us. It's very likely. You can reactivate your W to heal yourself. The heal is much smaller than the shield itself, so if you're in a fight to the death, you'd kind of just be better off holding on to the shield. Yeah, he's dead. Just walk with him. We didn't queue early since we were already on top of him with our autos there on that last queue. There's no need to uh, queue early. Oh, we just missed a ranged minion. I could uh, probably thin this out. We'll reactivate our W to give ourselves some healing. And we might actually be able to kill him again, even though we're missing a big chunk of health. Our uh, Dorn Shield's healing us. His way's pushing to us, so... He'll be down a decent amount of XP in theory. I'm gonna have to start thinning this out. It's not stepping very far up. He's playing pretty defensive now. I think he knows. We can just stick on top of him with our autos. With our passive on it, he'll get absolutely chunked. We reactivate our W for the healing since he's not really fighting us. I'm going to slow down a little bit. All right, you just pushed wave with Q. I need to thin this out. We'll walk away from this. He's dead. And I think Cho'Gath might die here as well. Yeah, I'll just walk him down with my art. Oh, God! 
That was really close. That was way closer than I would have liked it to be. We had to get our R on him to maximize our damage. Give ourselves the best odds there of uh, not getting absolutely wrecked. On top of that, you steal 10% of their stats. So you get stronger and they get weaker. Nice little combo. First item rush, usually leeching leer, and then you can get your boots. I, I am going to actually delay the boots to get bl my blasting wand because I don't want to leave base with a huge chunk of gold. If I got boots, I had like 500 gold left over. That's kind of awkward. We might as well get max value. We'll get the blasting wand. If they were both physical damage champs, let's say Nirelia top, Jarvan jungle, then yes, I would have rushed down the plated steel caps. We've gotten an insane value from it. But since Jarvan's physical damage, Togat's magic damage, rushing down the tier two boots like that, it's only going to give so much value. Fortunately, my wave's pushing to him. He doesn't seem to realize that. I'm gonna try to push him off of it if I can. Force him to max range farm with Qs. Now his wave's pushing to me. Temporarily. Yeah, <laughs> he's throwing AoE on the wave. It's definitely coming to me. He's in a tough spot. It's not easy to max range farm with Cho'Gath Q. You have to use just the sliver of the circle to get it. We caught him on when he's going in for his auto attack. I think he just misplaced his Q there. Maybe he's just trying to shove wave. We didn't quite get him. So I may maybe he did get what he wanted there, which was to reset the wave. We missed out on XP from the cannon. Well, at least get XP from these guys and some of the gold. I'm going to go ahead and dump the wave. We'll Q and E it. Dump that and we can look for some vision. I don't feel comfortable pushing all the way up with as many are missing right now, so we might as well uh, get some vision before we do. There's just no need to risk it. Unnecessary risk is what loses games. Big plays don't even win games because there's so many players making constant mistakes. You don't have to be making big plays. Just minimize your deaths. This wave should push back into me. Jarvin's in the area. We'll keep a close eye on that. Ah, uh, our E's on a cooldown. I'm gonna back up a little bit. We'll reactivate W for the heal, and we're chilling. Jarvin doesn't really want to gank me after that last gank he died. That's pretty common though. You get a successful gank. I'm trying to bait out his Q. Hey buddy. I'm completely whiffed my E. That was not a good trade for him. Max our E second. Gives you a bunch of magic penetration. Walked into that one. Hey bud, we're gonna walk him down to the edge of the circle and then that makes it much easier to land our stuff. Got him. The closer you get to them, the easier it is to land your skill shots. That's why we ran him down as much as possible and we lined up our Q. Since he was against the wall, we set it up to where no matter where he juked it was going to land unless he had a dash or a flash, which he doesn't because he's Shogath. That's why I say Mordekaiser really struggles against champions with high mobility like a Vayne or a Kindred because no matter how you play it, they can just react to your abilities and do just fine. Kind of trying to just dump this wave, so I'm trying to hit him and the minion simultaneously with my Qs. Yeah, he ate a big one there. I'm gonna block that, reactivate it for the hill. He's missing these minions, so that's good for us. Aatrox is in the area. I'll keep playing aggro. He, a Aatrox needs prio anyway since he's on Herald, so it makes sense for me to shove. So if Jarvan shows up and tries to mess with them, I can go over there real quick and help him out. So right now, it makes a lot more sense to shove than it does to freeze. Block that, then reactivate. That's annoying. I don't, I don't actually don't know how well this fight's gonna go for me, so I'm gonna play this slow. Jarvin's a full item. That could have actually gone very badly for me. He was probably afraid my R was up. He backed off, knowing th things can get kind of ugly on Mord R. 
I think this is really forced by my jungler. I don't think this is worth it all. That was actually decent. You can, uh, might be able to like, yeah, choice dead, 100%. Nice. I saw her from Karthus there. Didn't really feel like flash queuing or queue flashing there. Didn't seem worth it. So I hope Samir jumps in and I'll munch her like candy. Never mind. Oh, she flashed. Ah, I got her with the Q. <laughs> that turned out pretty well. She had her dash to dodge my abilities. My abilities are back up, and she uses her flash. That is the big counterplay to more. All you gotta do is dodge that Q. That's why his auto attacks are so important. You can't dodge those. I wanna get him with this bad boy. I should probably just back. This could this could turn south pretty quick. This could definitely turn south very quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna reset. I don't like this. Jarvan's a full item. Cho'Gath is only so far in items behind me right now since he just purchased. So we're we're better off going back, spending our gold. Once we once you have Riftmaker, you can usually comfortably solo people one versus two. After Riftmaker against tanks and melees, Agony's embrace is really good. Their team is Double physical, triple magic. You know, I'll go Merc Treads. We can always get a dead man's play. So if you feel like you don't have enough armor because you've, you've been spending your gold towards AP and, or magic resist, don't worry. You can always just pick up dead man. Super strong item on Mord. Great scaling. Great for team fights. Great for chase downs, escapes, everything. Only reason you don't rush dead man's generally is because you miss out on a bit of damage, which damage is really nice for one versus ones to the death, which is what Mord wants. Mord as a Juggernaut, Darius Garen style character, your goal is to build a lead, and then when the enemy jungler ganks you, you can easily one verse two them. That's the uh, that's the mission, and we've reached that point because we have Rift Maker, which is going to give us an absurd amount of tankiness and self healing. Should be able to get pretty good value out of that. Mord is so easy to dodge. Once they have tier twos and they're not inside your R, block that, let the turret shot hit, then heal. Jarvan's not over here. We'll keep pitting him with stray Qs. I should just I should have just killed him. Bopped him with a Q and ignite at the same time. That's her trade pattern on, on Mord when they're under turret. Hit him with Qs. Turret shot does squeak. If the turret does squeak off a shot on you, you hit W, you soak the shot, then you reactivate to use the rest of it as a heal. Bonk. And we'll take this. And we're in a great spot to carry this game. The biggest issue for us with their comp is the Ziggs. Ziggs has so much range. He can do considerable damage to us without us ever getting close to him. Bard kind of similar if I get him in my R we should be able to do some good stuff also keep in mind with your R on Mordekaiser of when you click it it's about when you first started it off your starting location so if they can jump over a wall like a Talon or a Tristana be mindful of where you press it so you'd want to be like right here if you don't want them to get over that wall because that's a huge concern if they have a dash flash or a leap You're not going to want them to just after you are for them to instantly escape from you. We're up really far. We're probably going to die here. Okay, we see where Jarvan is. Never mind. I see where everyone is. I think we're fine. And we can take this damage pretty comfortably. He misses out on a cannon minion as well. Trying to hit the whole wave. Jarvan's here. He shouldn't be able to affect me very well. Very well. Got him. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't particularly worth. I didn't see the Jarvan move. I thought Aatrox was still on him. 
I needed to keep a closer eye on the mini map there. Oh well, happens. We could have also been more patient. We'd gotten Cho'Gath so low, we could have waited for next wave and done that much safer than just forcing it right there and then. Worst case scenario, he resets and then we just take his turret. Aatrox jungle isn't bad. I've actually done a guide on it before. Its main issue is it just falls off like stupidly hard. His base damages are very, very good. Uh, his ganks are okay. His one versus ones are decent. It's really just the longer the game goes on, you see him give pretty bad value. Especially when you think about think about the items, right? Once everyone has their mythic, whether it's a Gale Force or a Rocket Belt, people have things like Dead Man's Forces and Nature's that people get all sorts of mobility through items these days. To where a champion who's pretty much all skill shots like Aatrox, that becomes very uh, tedious and and uh, basically inefficient, Ma a massive inefficiency of not being able to consistently land your abilities. We'll smack her with our R. Just got to get in range. She's going to jump to Senna. Just die for me. We're going to walk her down. Hit her with autos. I'm not, I didn't bother to throw out an ability because I knew I could kill her with two or three autos. So the risk of throwing out an ability, she'll flash, juke, or dash it. Therefore, there was only risk with using abilities. And using my auto attacks, there was zero risk. It was all rewards. So I knew she couldn't kill me with her low HP. And I had enough time to auto her down. Oh, what the heck? So I'll shove top. If your R is on cooldown, you have to be a little bit more careful when you're on the split. Because if you get jumped by four people, they'll have a much easier time killing you. We'll keep a close eye on the mini map. He's giving us 15% magic pen. That's nice. He's going to try to juke my E here, I think. Yeah, that's some damage. It looks like the enemies are grouping up bot side, so we can keep poking in with W's and Q's. That should work. Yep, got him with that one. He's got it. He's got my. Uh, he's got a burn on him there. I think. Yeah, he got burned by something. I don't know what burned him there. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I don't have Scorch or a, a burn item. I'm going to try to bait this out of him. Didn't get it. He is taking so much damage, he's going to have to back. Like, what are they going to do? Fight me? I'm full health and Cho's almost dead. All I have to do is not int underneath turret. I can just keep walking up, hit him with Qs and whatnot. Samir, what are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do to me? I have my R. Okay, we need to push this take turret. We finally whittled Cho got down. He's going to have to reset. get my health back there we go someone's in the area I don't know who that is all right Samira she's not gonna be able to push me away from the turret though it's cute that she she, she thinks she can I have minions here so I'm gonna flash that Togath's going to kill me with his R. Yeah, my W didn't come up in time. We took on three people and got one of them. I'm kind of okay with that. We can get our Demonic. Usually after Demonic, you want to go for Hourglass or Wileyes. If uh, you find you're getting focused down too quick, Zhonya's is the better choice. But uh, if you're fed and you just they're running away from you, then Wileyes is much better, so... I think we go for Rylize now. Stay on top of them better. 
We could go for heal cut. Their self healing isn't that crazy right now. Plus I have ignite. I won't need it till they have a truly enormous amount of self healing. Like once Samira has another uh, lifesteal style item or self healing style item, I think we could go for it. Mordekaiser does start to fall off in the late game when priority targets have QSS. At some point, Samira will get a QSS and I won't be able to R her anymore. At that point, we'll probably R Bard or uh, the Zig, something like that. Someone who's not going to be able to fight back or escape. That was a nice Aatrox knockup. So Aatrox is doing really, really well. I haven't seen a good Aatrox jungle in a while. Got him with the pull. Aatrox gets Ari sets off that. Big burst of movement speed and a little bit extended duration. I'm gonna get my word down. Let's shove this wave in. And then I guess we'll group up on, oh my God, we just missed cannon. Rip. We'll group up on next dragon spawn for drag soul. And then we should be able to win off that. Playing for the win con. Even though Mord's late game isn't amazing. If you have drag soul, you're still probably going to win. This is when having turret demolish is nice. It's really hard not to take revitalize though. Because the shields. There we go, got a turret. All right, three of them are dead. I think I pull back here, it's a little too deep. I don't have a cannon minion either, so I should be able to clean that up pretty quickly. With my demonic, I'll absolutely shred Cho'Gath now. Doing 2% uh, of their max health damage, 1% for if I was a range champ, but since I'm melee, it's 2%. It's really good. 2% max health damage burn. Doubt this is warded. Yeah, Samir's about to get it. She has two full items. I'm two and a half. I'm kind of out of position here. Yeah, you can't take that portal, bud. Got him. I R'd him from a really good spot where it wouldn't let him take portal since it went past my R circle. I might actually die here. I should have stayed for that Q. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna die here. I'm dead. Oh my God. That sucks. I was really far out of position. And the follow up from the team was, I don't wanna say bad, but at the very least, it was not good because I would solo killed Bar and, and somehow we lost that conflict when they were playing down a player. Jarvin must have found a big pick. Got to play for this dragon. Hopefully they don't get it before I spawn in. I think it's time we get our hourglass. I think, I think we kind of need it to get our second W before I get bursted to death. They have, a, they have quite a bit of damage with a very fed Jarvan. He has as many items as me, Samira, closest to as many items. So even though we're fed, a lot of them are very fed and I've thrown my shutdown. So they're really not that far behind in terms of gold. They're mainly behind in terms of map pressure and objectives. That's why they need to get stop us from getting this dragon. Cho'Gath up way too far, loses half his health. Karthus, I don't know what he's doing there. He's just trying to int. He goes in for the hourglass bait. Don't run from me, Samira. Got her to waste her dash on my E, then we hit her with the Q. Aatrox has his smite, so he should be able to get this. Got him. Flashy Q, baby. And that's Drag Soul. That's game, in my opinion. I don't think they can come back from that. Drag Soul is just too good. EQ, down he goes. Aatrox full health, I'm full health, Aphelios full health, only two of them are spawning in soon. And then Samir and a 10, we can fight 3v3. This is at least an inhib. I 
Missed it. That sucks. My passive is going to just wreck them so hard. Alright, we'll pull back. We could honestly... Well, never mind. Ziggs is just destroying the minions so hard. He's killing them with two abilities. We're going to need Baron now. Super minion off one inhib probably wouldn't be enough. Looks like we're going for bot lane inhib. Eh, that's not bad. It's going to be kind of hard because of Ziggs though. Yeah, I don't like this. I think this is bad. I think we should just take their camps, set up Baron. They're going to push up, try to fight on Baron, then we end the game. Try, trying to push with regular minions against a six who's more than one item is kind of ridiculous. I think Mordekaiser, did he get a buff against jungle monsters? I think he did on his passive. Yeah, that's why he can uh, do so much damage as he does. Oh, Karthus got a kill. Nice. I think we should just do uh, Baron here. And the enemies are low. Jarvan's dead. That's really annoying. Get out of here, Bard, you little rat. They're all going to die for this. Hey, buddy. I think he knows. He knows what he's done was naughty. It's time for him to go to spanking. Nice. Good snipe. All right, I'm going for that bot and hib. If we can get that bad boy, then we're in business. That's exactly what we wanted. We start the Baron. We don't have to finish it. They're going to step up to try to fight us. We have a big enough gold lead. Plus Dragon Soul Advantage. It's going to be very difficult for them to do anything. They don't have that much heal cut yet. It's only Bard who has some in Jarvan. It's not enough. Really, they need four players with heal cut against Ocean Soul. So we get a bunch of health back. On damaging an enemy. It's a double inhib. I don't think we can end. Stand still, Samira. I got something for you to hold. Pulled him right into the Jarvan cage. That's hilarious. Look at my healing. It's gross. We're healing so much. That is the power of Mordekaiser top lane. Build a lead in the early game with proper Q placements. If they don't have Conqueror or Lethal Tempo, you can take basically raw all-ins against them. And yeah, build a lead, win the game. Fun champion. Don't play him against mobile top laners and you should be good to go. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were the second highest in the game behind Karthus. Pretty good considering Karthus R stacks up his damage, whether or not like it's a kill or not, it all contributes. So it's very easy for Karthus to be a high damage. And we were very close to that. Pleased. For damage taken, we had taken 29,000. It's it's high. I think if you take into account self-mitigated, 29,000. And for... Uh, where is the shielded? We're taking ally shielding. True damage taken. So self mitigate damage must be self shielded damage as well. Oh, I'm happy with that we basically took around second or third most damage in the game collectively amongst mitigated and actual damage taken. I'm okay with that. Conqueror healed us for 577. Not anything crazy. That doesn't count the actual damage it added though. I really wish they would start adding that stat. Triumph healed us for 1666. 480 bonus gold. Finished tenacity 11 minute mark. Last stand 654 damage. Revitalize. 1300 healing with 942 bonus shielding this rune right here did more than any other rune that i took revitalize super pivotal on mordekaiser synergizes with your w synergizes with um your d shield with your rift maker with your conqueror heal super good rune and then bone plating only blocked 589 yeah it's all right anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video